Sitting with these two guys here today. Um, you know, the way I approach the guitar obviously is a bit more of a utilitarian kind of meat and potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> more, more, more towards uh, songwriting and kind of making pop records and stuff like that. And actually, it was just recently where I had, um, I was kind of like in the middle of an 18th and a half, 18 and a half month uh, 50 country tour, and I walked into one of my favorite guitar shops. And Lawrence happened to be in there, and he was playing. I just kind of seen his back, and he was playing, and I'm going, oh, what the fuck is this doing? <laughs> I really have to find out what, the, what what he's doing. And I kind of walked around the front of him, and we started to chat. And I said, you know, I'd love you to teach me for some, to start to teach me some of this stuff, you know. So I took my first guitar lesson uh, probably about, what, five months ago? <laughs> at, at the ripe old age of 52. <laughs> Process, obviously, I'm, uh, I'm actually just finishing up a solo record right now and working on a new Bon Jovi record to do a whole other world juggernaut so with the help of my dear friends here. And obviously, Tommy, I've been buying his records since 1988. <laughs> and, uh, trying to figure out how to do that is kind of like uh, trying to figure out how to make a nuclear bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I'll forget the bomb. <laughs> just nuclear. So I'll do, I'm going to have to sing when I have to play. That's good. Do what you do. Thank you. 
attention to the song, uh, to pay attention to the emotional content of that song, the emotional lyric of that song. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, if, if there's a kind of a title which is more of a romantic title, you're going to color it. I like to look at a recording as a sonic painting. And, uh, you know, so if there's a kind of a, you know, you're, you're going to write it obviously color color ballad, you know, you're not gonna be putting like, you know, your Mesa Boogie on twelve <laughs> and just like you kinda of power it out. You know, you're gonna try to make it as tender as possible. Obviously I think first thing you would honestly color something like that would be the first colors you would put would be acoustic guitar and piano around it. To see what kind of intimacy you can bring to that particular song. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then maybe some orchestration. Then, you know, to see what world you're going to go into and how it's going to go. And obviously that can morph it into his whole thing. And then if you're going to play rock and roll, you're going to do a rock and roll song, you get your electric guitar out and you get your drummer in the studio with you and a bass player and you kind of bang it out three pieces and call it on top of that. That's what I do anyway. I try, you know, I come from the school where 
You can't polish bullshit. No matter how much you polish it, it's still going to be bullshit. Yeah. 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 You know, so you have to have the architecture of a good song. Yeah. You have to walk in uh, from the writing aspect of it and, and have, have a good piece of material to actually take it to the band or the musician to 